Kids are going back to school, and this is the perfect time for workers at recreation centers and teachers to brush up on CPR and stop the bleed training. Uh, right now, medics use gauze that have controlled bleeding, but the FDA approved a new gel that stops bleeding in seconds. On Father's Day, Charles Pitts Bonner had to put his skills as the head lifeguard at the Ammon Recreation Center to work quickly. With a team of others, he says he saved a man after he had a heart attack while swimming. I was able to do four cycles of CPR. Um, where I was able to clear the airway. He was able to take a nice deep breath. Um, he still wasn't breathing on his own, so we had to continue CPR. Um, all in all, he, he survived. He made it. The city of Pittsburgh and Allegheny Health Network are working together to teach people CPR at the center. The city always provides these kind of trainings for, for folks that need to get either reacclimated or acclimated into how to save a life. And engage them in Stop the Bleed training. So we'll go to schools, we'll go to community centers, um, businesses, we'll go wherever. This group focuses on youth athletic coaches like Ozanam Basketball Program Executive Director Daryl Porter. This year they're inviting football and some other community organizations. That's an opportunity to teach people how to stop life-threatening bleeding um, because you could die within three minutes. Um, so we're going to teach them how to hold direct pressure on a wound, how to pack a wound, and how to recognize the difference between bleeding that's not life-threatening and one that is, and potentially how to use a tourniquet. And medical professionals can save even more lives since the FDA approved a new gel called Trauma Gel that can stop severe bleeding in seconds. To have another option of what to use out in the community when you can stop a life-threatening injury is amazing. Um, you know, we have had tools to use in the past, but something like this can really make a huge difference. The company says Trauma Gel should be available by the end of this year. Reporting in the Hill District, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.